Hey everybody, Bob here and welcome to another Making Stuff video. This is a quick update on the filament extruder PID controller or the puller. And if you watched my last video, I showed you this kind of little jumbled mess of wires working. I also showed you Russ's board that he had sent to me and it was DOA and I said in that video that I was going to create one from scratch. Well, here it is. Um, I've got an LCD screen. This is a Teensy 3.1. I have ordered some Teensy LCs and some Teensy 3.2s, and I'm using the Teensies because they have more processing power, but this right here, this little Arduino Nano will work just fine, but I prefer the teen working with the Teensies, so my prototype board uses that. I've got the A49 series, whatever, 4988, something like that, stepper motor driver. This is my logic level converter for the calipers. This right here is just a voltage regulator. I can put uh, 12 volts in here for the uh, stepper and it powers all of this stuff. This knocks it down to 3.3 volts. And this is my menu menu buttons here and this is where the calipers if you remember in the other video these right here the Pittsburgh those are the ones you want by the way but uh, oh and this is the stepper motor plug so here's what I've got I'm basically where I left off with the other jumbled mess except I've got a nice screen and a menu oh and this potentiometer does the contrast on the screen so we'll just fire it up here and hopefully you can see that motor running let's back out a little bit here there we go okay so this right here is what the calipers are reading this is my PID value now this says 175 to make it work with the PID algorithm a little better I multiplied the value by 10 so this is 1.75 and you can see here my PID number is not changing because I'm at the target. I've got this hard coded right now for uh, a target of 1.75 millimeters. Uh, in the future, I'm going to have it where we can change this setting on the menu buttons there. But uh, as you can see, the motor, hopefully you can hear, the motor is at a steady speed because we are at target value now. I'm going to monkey with the calipers here and I'm going to make the value go slower. Oh, I hit the power button. There it goes. Okay, now the value is now smaller and you can see the PID algorithm trying to correct for this right here. You can see that number going up. Okay, and as this number gets bigger, the motor slows down. I don't know if you can hear the motor but it's slowly winding down. You can hear it in the sound, but if you're watching this, you won't really be able to tell. So, what it's trying to do is slow this puller motor down so that the filament will be thicker. So if the filament's thicker, you see I did, I jumped way too much there. Let me slow it down a lot. Okay. Okay, there we go. So that's 1.54 millimeters. And you can see this is getting bigger, it's slowing down. And the PID is reacting to how fast this changes too. So I'm going to go over 1.75. There you go, that's 1.76. Now you can see that number slowly going down. And the more off you are and the faster you're off, the faster this changes. And that's all set in the PID algorithm. And I will go over that more in a later date. But this is just a quick update video. I just want to show you where I was at with this. Here recently, it's been more fixing stuff around here for me. I haven't had a whole lot of time to make uh, some stuff because everything around here is breaking as fast as I can fix it. But I finally see the light at the end of the tunnel and I've had some time to work on this uh, this weekend. And I also, and I'm working on the video, I'll give you a sneak peek, but, uh, while I'm waiting on parts for this, I'm working on this, and that's all I'm gonna show you. 
And while I'm waiting on parts for the other, I'm working on this. So I've got two of these projects going back to back. Hang in there. I promise I'm working on this and uh, we'll have more for you real soon. Thanks for watching.